Hello YouTube land and welcome to another edition of Jeff Toy Reviews. I am Jeff and today I am looking at Grex and Skull Smasher from Titans Return, the new line of Transformers that's just started their Generations line. Um, it looks like Combiner Wars is finally over and now we're into the Titans Return and um, a lot of big stuff. These guys dropped today, June, uh, July 1st and it looks like even Fortress Maximus is online and they're going to be everywhere. Yay. So anyway, I picked these up at Toys R Us today and um, very happy I did. Went there after work and picked them up. And um, this is the packaging. They do come in a standard bubble um, bubble on a card. And um, there's a nice picture of the alt mode for um, Skull Smasher. And here he is, product shots on the back. There is the... Um, Little bio, Decepticons Unite, Titan Master partners with Power of Grax, masks the energy signature of the bot he's bonded to, making Skull Smasher invisible to the Autobots. Really short. Um, it also says here that all the Headmasters works with all the figures, including Fortress Maximus. So, um, there's the product shots, there's Skull Smasher, there's Grax, and then there's Dinobot mode, and there's Grax riding in his back. Oh my god! Um... And that's it. That's the packaging. Nice little product shot. Nothing big. There is Grax himself. Yes, he looks small. He's far away. So will bring him closer. And I'm going to bring the camera down just a little bit. And boom. End of the shot. He does come with a collector's card. And the collector's cards are, are kind of cool. They're really nice. It's the artwork from the packaging. Um, then there's tech specs on the back. And then it shows the red is Skull Smasher without his head. And then when Grax is attached, he gets that much more powerful, I guess. Um, they're nice cards, you know. I They're cards. It's an extra thing. I'm impressed with these guys, so I guess I'm not, like, too mad that they're adding cards instead of may, maybe putting better paint apps or anything. He also comes with his instructions would look just like the Combiner's Wars instructions. And that's it for the packaging and everything. So, here is Grax. Or Skull Smasher with Grax. This used to be Skull Cruncher, um, Headmaster Skull Cruncher. I don't have the G1 version anymore. He was my favorite, one of my favorite G1. I think he was my favorite G1 Headmaster, um, but I no longer have him. Unfortunately, I sold him when I got married. Um, needed the money. Anyway, um, he does have nice paint applications. You know, his face looks pretty good. He's got some nice pink here on the chest, and you know, he looks like. Skull Smasher did, or Skull Cruncher did way back there, and now he's Skull Smasher. Um, this is his tail. does form like a shield or a weapon, however you want to look at it. Also some sort of flying vehicle for the Headmaster. Um, and then he does come with his regular gun. I'm going to take these off. There's his gun. That's kind of nice. I mean, there's some nice molded details and stuff on those. Um, he needs some assembly. Um, the Crocodile Head, which is here on the back, tucks a nice way back here, um, is actually separate and it's on a nice ball joint for I'll show that off when I get into the transformation so um, as you notice his head kind of flops a little bit pulling off the head I think the heads flop around basically because this port or this yeah this port's too big the slot here for the headmaster is just a little too big for the head I mean it, it holds in securely it's not gonna fall out or nothing but it's an it gives it too much wiggle room so Let's take a look at the head sculpt. There is Skull Smasher's face. And then you transform him into his little Titan Master. There's Grax. He's got a nice little gold face who looks just like Skull Smasher. His arms are on a ball joint that's very, um, because of the way he's built. I mean, this guy has tight ball joints, but he's got a little bit of a ball joint there for both arms. And he bends at the knees so he can sit. But that's it. He doesn't, like, his legs aren't independent or anything. So put him down for a minute. So let's do the transformation for this guy. Really simple transformation. Let's, let's do this. I'll start. We're going to fold the feet, feet up here. Um, we're going to bring his arms up like so. And you're going to flip in the feet, hands like so. And position them like this. You got these tabs here that are going to go into this slots gotta position it in there not sure this is always difficult 
Oh, it's because I haven't pushed it all the way in. So it's got to go all the way in. It gets really tight. Get it against the body. And then... And then there's that. And then we're going to come around, turn, turn his... You don't even have to turn the legs around. You just have to fold this part up. Make sure that's flush. You can pop out the dino, the alligator leg off the back. Same thing on the other side. And these will, there's some tabs here, some slots here. Slot that in together. And now he looks like a very strange gator because he doesn't have, um, yeah, he doesn't have a tail. So we're going to give him his tail. And you know, his tail is, of course, his shield, just uh, or his extra weapon as it was when he was um, the, just like the G1 counterpart. So you can take his tail, and you can take his gun, and you can plug the gun in this way, or some people are doing it this way. Either way, so there is some weapon storage here if you really want weapon storage. I don't care. Most people, I just can throw the weapons in a bin, and it's fine. This is a cool feature because his tail moves. Um, you know, because it's on this list on this little peg. That's it, and um, that's it. That's him for his alligator mode. And I was kind of bothered by this a little bit. And maybe it's just me, or maybe people think differently. The back part here that houses Grax. This is rubber. Um, all the other cockpits or storage areas for the titan masters on all the other figures the deluxe figures are plastic and i could see this over time not doing well but you got the chair in there you just put him in there and he fits yeah he's piloting an alligator Woo. and he's in there now and cool and his head the alligator's head is on a nice ball joint and uh, i just unpegged that i think there it goes back in there I actually kind of want to keep him in alligator mode. I like his alligator mode. He's got nice teeth that actually overlap. It's kind of cool, you know. And then he's got a tongue. And that's it. Nice little molded detail on the roof of his mouth and everything. So this is um, Skull Smasher. So I want to put him back into his robot mode. Give you a couple of comparisons real quick here. Uh, actually, I'm not. I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to do it this way. Nah, let's do it. it. Won't take that long. Just put these back in. Separate the legs. Oh, that happens. They're on a ball joint, which is nice because that helps with posability. So you get really, woohoo, you know, really good posability. Um, he does have a toe. Um, and this basically acts as the heel spur. It's not very good because he is a little top heavy. I'm back heavy because of this backpack that the head creates. But, oh, let me get Grax out. Sorry, this is going to be a, about a 10-minute video because I want to give you a size comparison to the other the other um, deluxe figures that have come out in this line. I'm going to bring this out and down. And hands can stay out like so. Bam. Bring out the other hand. Bam. Okay. I know, I'm saying bam. I'm like Emerald. So put this head back in. And ta-da, he's back. He's back to being his mean green self. So, alrighty. Let's go ahead and see. He wants to tip over. I don't know why. Actually, I had that remedied by his weapon. See, he's going to fall right over, so I'll just lay him down. Sorry about the little bit this... Um, I should have showed you the comparison before, and I'm not good at cutting and editing back and forth, so I'm just going to do this. Um, but at least I'm honest with you, and I'm going to be honest with you. I do like this guy. I like the way he looks. Um, his legs are a little loose, but that's okay. Um, I almost expect it from the the um, the deluxe class figures now, which is I shouldn't expect that, but he's a good looking fig. Um, now here he is with Scorch, and they are right next to each other. Their Scorch is just a hair taller, and it just has—he's just a little bit bigger for some reason. 
But these guys are the same size as the Combiner Wars figures. And all my Combiner Wars figures I don't have available right now to show you in this video. A couple other videos I should have. A, like, I think I'll pull Prowl in and you guys can see what he looks like. So, um, so anyway, this is Skull Smasher and with Grax. And let me move Scourge out of the way. And um, I like him. I, if you're going to collect the Titans Returns, he's a really cool figure. They, I like the paint decos on these guys. I like the, um, or the paint apps. I like the art deco on them. They, they look really nice. And they have tons of details. All the scaling and, and everything. See how loose that leg is? Man, the others are not like that. I'll prove it right now. Here's Scourge. Not loose like that at all. I have to forcefully move that. So anyway, um, real cool fig. Great, going to be good, looking good on the shelf, and um, good luck. I hope you find them. Again, my name is Jeff with Jeff Choice Reviews. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. Check out my pictures that I post of all kinds of different toys. A lot of Transformers, a lot of comic book stuff, but, you know, post a lot of toys. My Instagram is at jmercer, J-M-E-R-C-E-R-7-6, -E and I'll put that in the information below, too, so if you want to follow me. Thank you very much, and you guys have a good one.